Okay, this is uh, testing after two hours on the uh, heater. You see we have a good blue plasma in the cell. We're pulling uh, 240 watts, roughly. About 135 volts in the cell. 135 volts from power supply. Uh, pretty good flow through uh, the heat exchanger. We're pulling about uh, Hundred and fifty degrees on the heat exchanger. A little over one fifty. So we're keeping the uh, the reservoir temperature about one seventy five and we're keeping our heat exchanger about one fifty five. So well, that's no, that's not definite that we're pulling off 20 degrees off the heat exchanger. I don't think we are. Um, the temperature coming out of the cell should be right around 180. Um, but I'm not able to read 180. I'm reading about 160 something. But uh, anyway, 160 going into the heat exchanger and 175 in the, the reservoir doesn't really make any sense but uh, anyway the pumps handling it uh, 135 seems to be the voltage uh, that the plasma likes to stay at a nice blue plasma um, watts stay in rock solid around 240 the uh, total test data is here starting at uh, 78 degrees 35 volts 250 watts with no plasma um, we ran for 14 minutes and then we switched to uh, 100 and let's see we ran for 18 minutes and switched to 140 volts, which brought us up to 650 watts. Uh, at 14 minutes, we switched, and then we came up to 130. We went to 110, then we went to 130. Uh, I tried some 130 at 16 minutes. Uh, to 135 the rest of the test from 24 minutes on it stayed at 135 until the last test where I just did the uh, watts and tank temperature uh, tank temperature stabilized at 40 minutes 42 minutes 44 minutes somewhere in there uh, right around the 40 minute mark the tank temperature stabilized both just stabilized and watts kept dropping until we got to 52 minutes. Um, that could have been increased, but uh, with increased voltage to start with, instead of running 250 watts, I could have ran 500 watts to uh, 14 minutes and had the temperature up to 175 there. So average wattage for one hour is 370 watts. And then after that, um, really after 50 minutes, the watts were 250. So with a one hour warm up at 370 watts, the unit will maintain 250 watts um, as long as it's on. So that's what we have.